So after the incident where a semi caught on fire, leading to a 16-hour highway closure, the initial cause was identified as the driver falling asleep, resulting in a significant impact on the Tesla truck's 900-kilowatt-hour battery pack. It's clear this was not Tesla's fault, and we hope you understand that. After the incident, Tesla's rolled out numerous updates for the semi-truck. Elon's still ramping up production of electric trucks to meet demand, as evidenced by the many sightings of new Tesla semis at Giga Nevada. We'll also be talking some of the new design changes and potential battery modifications in the upcoming version of the semi-truck, which seems necessary after an incident that has got all this talking, all right? Let's get into more right now. 1. Tesla Semi is growing and new batteries. Elon's goal of producing 50,000 Tesla semis a year is becoming increasingly feasible as Tesla ramps up efforts on both fronts. At the Giga Nevada factory, although currently focused on producing a limited number of semis for internal use and customer deliveries, is steadily boosting output. At the same time, construction of the semi factory is accelerating, with the expectation that the first electric trucks could come off the production line next year. One notable point is that although not officially announced yet, there are signs of Tesla Semi Gen 2 that might be coming soon. Dan Priestley revealed Tesla plans to introduce a new electric truck model with a sleeper cabin, which would allow drivers to make long-haul deliveries a lot more comfortably. However, the release of this version still depends on the progress of the new factory's construction and the deployment of megachargers. It's expected that this higher-end model will be produced at the new factory, as Giga Nevada currently only has the capacity to produce the prototype version of the Semi. Currently Currently, the Gigafactory in Nevada is producing an average of 10 to 20 semis a week. Estimates suggest that Tesla could add at least 500 to nearly 1,000 of these electric trucks this year. Some leaks are indicating that around 23 new semis have been spotted near the factory based on footage from Tesla Semi Advocate and Giga Nevada drone coverage. Right now, the semi still uses the 2170 with 900 kilowatt capacity, but soon going to switch to a new battery type. And this is a necessary step, especially after that fire accident that happened on the highway with the Tesla semi. Clearly, after the semi fire incident that lasted 12 plus hours on the highway, many of us are hoping that Tesla uses LFP batteries for the semi due to the safety features. However, this signing seems unlikely to happen. We don't deny that LFP batteries are safer because of their chemical properties, being less prone to overheating or exploding. Nevertheless, we firmly believe LFPs are too weak to provide the performance and range needed for a semi-truck, and they'd also make it a lot heavier due to the larger battery pack. Instead, the new 4680 is the intended replacement for the 2170 cells that are being currently used in the big rig. Maybe you don't know about the expansion of the plant in Nevada that's ramped up. As reported, two new production facilities are going to be part of this expansion. One for battery cells of the 4680 format with a capacity of 100 gigawatt hours a year, and another for for series production of the Tesla semi-electric truck. It's pretty hard to believe that the semi wouldn't use cells produced in the same factory, especially since Tesla gained significant cost benefits from this. Furthermore, the semi has been delayed for a long time waiting for the 4680 cells, so the shortage of the 4680s over an extended period is likely the reason why the number of electric trucks has only hit around 100 units from 2022 to 23. According to Tesla, the stock of the 4680 batteries is now higher, and that could be good news for electric trucks. Now, don't get us wrong. We are suggesting that the Tesla Semi is soon going to switch to 4680 batteries, but not immediately. The units currently being made at Giga Nevada still use the 2170s, and if our assumptions are correct, it's going to be when the Semi factory is completed and the new Semi Gen 2 is produced that the electric trucks will finally feature the 4680 batteries. Can't wait. The 4680 batteries are a lot more suitable for semi-trucks than the 2170s, not only because of their higher performance, but also just because of the safety advantages they offer. With an improved design, the 4680 battery features superior thermal management, and that helps dissipate the heat more effectively and reduces the risk of thermal runaway, a condition that can lead to fires or even explosions when the battery overheats. The tablet's design of the 4680 not only cuts internal resistance, but also enhances temperature control, making the 4680 safer when operating at a high performance. Its larger size allows the 4680 to be integrated into the vehicle structure, improving durability and crash protection. This is particularly crucial for trucks like the Semi, where safety and performance are key factors. With a 4680 battery, the Semi not only achieves a greater range, but also provides added peace of mind regarding safety, ready to meet the demanding requirements of future freight transport. However, it's clear that battery safety is not the only factor for the electric truck safety. Driver behavior plays a big role as well. The fact is, even the least safe lithium-ion battery packs would not cause a fire or explosion 
situation without a collision. In the recent fire incident, although it's unclear whether the driver actually fell asleep or lost control or both, it's evident that the semi is missing something, and that's precisely the full self-driving system. Good news? Tesla is indeed preparing to integrate full self-driving into the semi, as shown in recent footage. Two, Tesla Semi will soon have FSD. Truck accidents caused by fatigue are becoming a big issue that's quite hard to ignore. It's not surprising given the intense pressure put on drivers to cover long distances without enough rest, and that leads to mental exhaustion. According to Consumer Shield data, over 73,000 truck accidents happened in the U.S. alone this year, a staggering figure that shocks all of us. From the get-go, since the Semi was first introduced in 2017, many have seen it not just as a regular electric truck, but as a revolutionary advantage for the transportation industry. Elon's confident that the semi will not only help companies cut costs, but also provide safety on challenging roads, especially those steep inclines. You may not know this, but according to Elon, the semi is about 26 cents cheaper per mile compared to a diesel truck. With an energy consumption of 1.7 kilowatt hours a mile, a 500 mile trip costs just 213 bucks. That's assuming the, the electricity price of a 25 cent per kilowatt hour. On the other hand, driving a diesel truck would require close to 77 gallons of gas at $4.90 a gallon, potentially costing over $370. $370 versus 213 mind-blowing. Just lowering the fuel cost alone can disrupt the whole industry. In addition to cost efficiency, many former drivers have openly shared that if the semi had gotten lost earlier, their careers might have been extended. So, beyond the upgrade to include a sleeper cab for the next version, it's particularly exciting for us to hear that Semi is set to come with a full self-driving system. This news has left many, including us, astounded. The combination is truly essential and could be key to preventing tragic accidents on the highway, and that's a critical need in the transportation industry right now. Specifically, a Semi was spotted undergoing a testing near the Gigafactory in Nevada, leading many online to speculate whether the vehicle might be testing its autopilot and full self-driving capabilities. Footage captured by Henrik Zane also shows the semi-equipped with data collection devices appear to be related to FSD testing. While Tesla's electric semis feature hardware capable of using both autopilot and FSD, the system is being configured for the semi, and these tests could be part of that development. Some of the users in the thread said that the hardware could also include LiDAR, likely to test the system against Tesla's camera-based vision, on which autopilot and FSD supervised are based. Looking closely here at this semi, it's not hard to see the large array of sensors and equipment visible just above the front windshield. We think that there may be cameras built into it as well. And you might not know this, but a semi prototype was spotted back in 2018 and determined that there were 26 exterior cameras on the rig. Other Tesla models have just eight exterior cameras for autopilot, sentry, and parking. Our guess is that Tesla might be testing the autopilot FSD capabilities of the semi on highways. And that makes sense. As electric trucks, they're going to spend most of their time on highways. And testing self-driving software in this environment is definitely going to help out our drivers with better handling long-haul scenarios. Although Priestley and Elon have not yet disclosed whether the semi is going to feature FSD technology, it's hard to see the development team overlooking this opportunity to integrate such advanced technology, especially after that recent high-profile collision. What are your thoughts on the implementation of FSD in a semi? Could this truly be a breakthrough and offer significant benefits for truck drivers? In July, semi was spotted delivering five more trucks to PepsiCo, Costco, and Walmart, who also got the semi truck shortly after. Now, semi truck's latest company, NFI, has also taken delivery of the truck, and they've detailed how the all electric truck improves their efficiency. The semi's already giving NFI a lot to be thankful for, including more than acceptable range performance and greater efficiency, which has been proven over the first 6,000 miles of travel. It's said more than 60% of those miles were traveled at speeds of 50 miles an hour or higher, and efficiency was demonstrated at 1.64 kilowatt hours a mile. In fact, NFI announced back in 2017 that they plan to expand their North American fleet with the Semi. This truck represents a step forward in many companies' efforts to make their fleets more sustainable, and NFI shares that vision. Earlier this year, the company took steps by partnering with Southern California Edison and Electrify America to develop a charging station. They also added Volvo's VNR and Freightliner e Cascadia electric trucks to their fleet, marking their first step in commitment to building a more sustainable fleet. 
Now, with the semi officially joining the team, the company debuted their truck and their fleet at Patterson, California. During the first quarter earnings call, Elon stated that the first large trucks would be sold to external customers in 2026, meaning Tesla might actually deliver the entire batch of semis to companies that have placed their orders by next year. For years, we've been in the dark about the price of these big trucks, whether it's $150,000, $180,000, or $250,000. But until Tesla confirms that all these price points are just our best guess, because Semi has not been static over the years, it's going to continue to be updated regularly, like all the other Tesla models. 3. Tesla Semi is going to get produced in Giga Berlin. We still remember that during a trip to Giga Berlin in early March this year, Elon announced to the workers at the European factory that Giga Berlin was the ideal plant for making the semi. Musk said, I think it makes sense to produce the semi truck in Europe at Giga Berlin. It seems like this would be a story for many more years, as the new factory in Nevada has achieved rapid production speeds and the electric truck production line began to expand in Berlin. However, it appears that the semi may hit the production line at the European factory sooner than we thought. Specifically, last week, Tesla shipped two semis to Gigafactory in Berlin. Therefore, Class 8 electric trucks were spotted in footage captured by a local observer's drone at the factory. The two semi-trucks were seen being unloaded from large trailers at Giga Berlin. These trucks are likely to be transported to Tesla's Model Y production facility in Germany from the port. The sighting of the semis at the Giga Berlin car plant has certainly surprised many. The unexpected appearance of these electric trucks in Europe raises questions in the minds of those interested in logistics in the region. Basically, there are two reasons why Tesla brought its two semi-trucks to Giga Berlin. First, Dan Priestley, Tesla's senior manager for the Semi program, will be flying to Germany next month to give a keynote address at the IAA transportation event in Hanover, Germany. Dan Priestley is scheduled to speak about the Tesla Semi at the event on September 17th, and on the following day, September 18th, he will share a case study about PepsiCo, which currently operates a small fleet of Tesla Semis for product delivery in the United States. The second reason is the approval and testing of Tesla Semi in Europe before it's fully integrated into the production line in Giga Berlin. In 2021, Tesla announced that the company plans to build a mega-charging network in both the United States and Europe specifically for the Tesla Semi. This is why we believe that this electric truck will soon be available in the European market. However, unlike in the U.S., Class 8 trucks produced for the European market face size restrictions, meaning the length of the tractor must be as short as possible. For this reason, if Elon Musk does not bring this semi to Europe, the Tesla semi may need to be redesigned to meet operational standards. Specifically, the market requires a maximum height restriction of 18.75 meters for trucks, with a maximum weight of 40 tons. Typically, standard trucks in the U.S. are 21.9 meters long, 2.6 meters wide, and 4.1 meters high, with electric trucks possibly having a total weight of up to 37 tons, plus an additional 0.9 tons encouraged by policies that favor electric trucks. Currently, road tolls can cost transport companies up to 25,000 euros per truck annually. Switching to zero-emission vehicles like the Tesla Semi could significantly reduce overall costs. Bringing Tesla's electric trucks to such a lucrative market has been part of Elon Musk's plan. Furthermore, Tesla also has orders for the semi-truck from customers in Europe. Norwegian food distribution company Asco has ordered 10 of the electric semi-trucks. Asco has already integrated a European electric truck into its fleet, but the company believes Tesla Semi has more advanced features. Elon Musk has committed to mass producing the Tesla Semi, believing that these electric trucks could bring significant financial benefits to Tesla. He sees potential not only in reducing operating costs for companies using trucks, but also in positioning Tesla as a leader in the field of electrified road transport. Many major transport companies have expressed substantial interest in the Tesla Semi, not only due to its economic value, but also because of the growing role in electric vehicles in minimizing environmental impact. Companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, and Costco are currently testing the Tesla Semi, indicating a genuine shift in how the road transport industry is approaching this new technology. Elon has strongly stated that transport companies not using this Semi are missing a major opportunity to cut operational costs. He straightforwardly suggests that if these companies truly value profitability, then they should quickly switch to using the Tesla Semi. According to him, the economic efficiency of these electric trucks is undeniable, and adopting them would be a significant turning point for the transport industry. 
Musk has also expressed confidence that the Tesla Semi will achieve much larger sales volumes than initially expected. He predicts that this will not only make a strong impression on the market, but also bring positive financial changes to Tesla. Furthermore, he emphasizes that the popularity of the Tesla Semi will play a crucial role in reducing CO2 emissions, as semi trucks are one of the major sources of emissions. Even with a small number of units, deploying a Tesla Semi could have an impact on overall emissions, thus supporting global efforts to combat climate change. Choosing Giga Berlin as the production site for Tesla Semi is a strategic move by Tesla. With the plant's strong production capabilities and its central location in Europe, Tesla is not only expanding its production capacity, but also reinforcing its presence in one of the largest and most important markets in the world. Initially, Giga Berlin focused primarily on producing the Model Y, but the expansion to produce the Tesla Semi clearly reflects Tesla's ambition to dominate the European market. While the Tesla Semi may need to be modified to comply with strict European standards, Musk sees this as an important step in globalizing his product. Producing the Tesla Semi is not only economically beneficial, but also demonstrates Tesla's long-term strategy of expanding its presence and influence in the international market. This will not only bring Tesla closer to European customers, but also facilitate the development and refinement of sustainable transportation technologies, supporting the company's long-term goal of reducing its environmental impact globally. What do you think about the latest updates to the Tesla Semi and whether Elon Musk will actually produce semi-trucks in Europe? Share your opinions below. We hope you learn more about the Tesla Semi-Truck after watching this episode. If you did, please hit the like button and join your Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. That way, you'll never miss out on any of our awesome videos. Just hit that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. And thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you back here soon. Until then, take care and God bless you.